Man can't handle his whiskey, so you sit right down, say tear her belly, and drink it up. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Speck. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terry Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. They worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they dressed people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see you through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. Yeah, here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis, just like me. Difference is, you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear, we'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or oh, they'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, Terry Belly, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die, or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over Horton special. I like you. Like your gumption. All right, let's start this revolution. Hit it! Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn! How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pull some wires. That about it. He's quick learning. Paris always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get Let's see what that this puppy can do.
too damn big. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happened? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. I'm out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Well, make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Next stop, Lakeview District.